Hi and welcome for the second day of the Sketch Temple Challenge. Yesterday was a little bit cold again today. I uh, tried to somewhat organize the first entry, but I did not manage, so it uh, was a mess. Uh, it does look like this. I'm gonna blend it right here. And uh, I'm not proud of it, but now that it is done, I now know what I hate about it and uh, what I want to do different in all the uh, upcoming entries for the challenge. Also, I learned some uh, more things, like I'm gonna hate this little thing, because um, uh, I don't have a really good camera that uh, does not autofocus like a uh, storm, so it's very, very loud, and for now I'm gonna ha have to use my phone, so I'm gonna um, put up with this little thing. And now I'm going to go into the drawing. So, the topic that I chose for the second day of the Sketch Tempo Challenge is silhouettes. You should use a silhouette in your images, in your sketches. And what uh, do I mean by silhouette? Silhouette is something that you know what it is, kind of, and uh, many, of, many use it, uh, or at least understand what it is. In drawing and sketching, uh, you see the silhouette uh, as something that is the outline of a object, most often the main object of your sketch. For this example, I use this uh, silhouette of a character and you already can read him as a dwarf. Not only as a dwarf, but uh, as a warrior dwarf with a giant hammer and you can understand it without me putting in any details whatsoever. All you see is the outline of him, and you already know who it is, who it is uh, uh, what situation he is in, and so on. This is the power of the silhouette. Use it in your sketches, and uh, you will uh, have a much easier time doing your characters. Now, uh, the same silhouette can be done for a less exciting character. For example, this is the same dwarf, and... Uh, if you do it more realistically, if you put in a pose that is more realistic, you can see that it is not as exciting to look at. He, yes, he, is, uh, he has more right proportions, but uh, you need to add detail to see him as a dwarf. So, at least in your sketches, uh, do exaggerate. It is just a sketch, so you have the freedom to ex ex exaggerate uh, the proportions, elements like the hammer, and so on and so on. So use it, and if you need to tone it down in the final uh, image, in the final sketch, you can always do it. But for exploration, uh, use exaggeration as a tool that is very, fairly easy to use and uh, quite effective. For example, here is another object, a uh, uh, mushroom, and mushrooms have uh, in of uh, uh, themselves a quite readable uh, silhouette. But if you just exaggerate some aspects of the uh, object, of the mushroom, you can uh, add excitement to an object that is not moving, that is really easy readable, but uh, now it is a lot eye-catching and it is a lot more exciting to look at. Now, this uh, is something that the silhouette helps you with. Now, another uh, point that you should consider uh, why silhouette is important is the silhouettes uh, help you finish your images without you finishing them. They help you complete the composition of an image without rendering out the details or even the background. Now, here, for example, uh, I'm going to do uh, two silhouettes uh, in those little boxes and uh, right around here the camera uh, should go out because I wanted to I, I had to go somewhere but uh, as you can see uh, here is a, a man and already from his uh, zillet alone you can read that he is not relaxed he is uh, kind of tense I don't know maybe he is sprawling on something the second silhouette is you can see that he is a warrior a knight but he is relaxed and you don't need to add the background to make it clear. 
So this is the broad overview of the topic. Now, I hope you liked it. And if you did, please uh, comment, like and subscribe. And there will be more coming. So I hope you like those little videos.